Hello and welcome everybody and thank you for joining me again. My name is Wilkie and I'm here with the next Battle Ride Champion Spotlight. Today we're going to take a look at Jade the Lone Gunner or for the BLC players, just the Gunner. So let's just dive right into and let's take a look. Alright, as usual, infinite energy and cooldown. Well, the cooldowns, as you can see, it works a bit like, I guess, the EVA that you have six bullets after that, you have a short wind-up or reload animation, uh, but since I will be using no cooldowns, I don't really have that, so keep that in mind. But basically, you revolve a shot, firing a shot, dealing 4 damage, and as you can see, this is casting relatively quick, but it only deals 4 damage per hit, so you do have to make sure that you land multiple hits on the enemy. It doesn't really recover that much energy, but given the fact that you can fire these sticks in relatively quick succession, it kinda makes sense. Now, I guess this is more of her signature ability, which is called Snipe, dealing a whooping 38% damage and inflicting a 2.5, oh no, a 0.5 second stun. Now, Snipe has a relatively long range. They added a neat feature where you can see this little green laser where it's pointed. I think the enemy can see it as well, if I'm not mistaken. So it kind of gives it away. However, if you're on stealth, the enemy doesn't see it, I think. I'm not even sure if the enemy sees the green laser, to be honest. I might be making this up. Anyways, uh, this one deals tremendous amount of damage, however it can be hard to land due to a 1.6 second casting time. It has a relatively short cooldown, so this is a very good way to deal a lot of damage from afar. It pierces enemies and it stuns as well. And you can see that the damage will be reduced by 35% for each target hit. Her spacebar is Blast Vault, which basically stuns enemies around you for 0.25 seconds, which is not a lot, it just basically interrupts um, pretty much everything, and it just gives you a mobility tool to hop out of the way. For her Q ability, which is the second of her signature moves, I guess, is Stealth, which basically turns her invisible and giving you a movement speed boost. Now, unlike usual other games that uh, usually make you visible as soon as you cast, this game doesn't, so you can actually go invis and you can just cast freely and you stay invisible. So you don't actually break your invisibility while doing any sort of movement. You can have even go stealth and jump away if you want to, not that I recommend that, but in theory it would be possible to do that. For E, which is called Disabling Shot, it deals again no damage, it slows the enemy for a tad bit, but what's even better is it silences the enemy if they are currently casting, or if they are about to cast during that interrupt. Similar to the stun of Eva from her taser, this one will silence the enemy if they are not expecting it or if you just land a proper disabling shot while they are casting something. Very good skill for disrupting the enemy and making sure they don't actually retaliate that well. Anyways, this is pretty much all about her basic abilities, so let's take a look at her X abilities. Her first X ability is Snapshot, changing her snipe into a relatively fast casting, however not dealing as much damage, but no damage drop off, so hitting multiple enemies with this will still cause this shot to deal the full 12 damage. I'm not sure why they... well, I guess it's probably just a bit of a weird wording, but the root reduces the movement speed to 0% for 1.5 seconds, so basically roots the enemy in place for 1.5 seconds, which is pretty good. Her second X ability is Smoke Veil, which is a very handy supportive ability because it not only turns yourself immaterial but also allies, which means that anybody for these two seconds will be completely out of place and will not be able to be targeted or anything. And similar to the Invis, you can start casting, shooting, jumping, moving without having to fear breaking the stealth or immaterial effect prematurely. Her R ability is Junk Shot, which basically works like a shotgun. And it fires, I think, three bolts, if I'm not mistaken. And this one's kind of tricky to use, because it, first off, if you only hit one of these bolts, it deals six damage, so it's six per bolt, or shot, or shrapnel, whatever. But if the enemy is close and you actually manage to land all of them, there's actually a pretty significant knockback. So this can be used quite well to create some distance between you and your enemy, should you ever run out of your... Disabling shot, your Q, or your space bar. And for her ultimate, explosive shells. One of the hardest hitting, not the hardest hitting, but a pretty devastating ultimate. She will fire four of these rockets, and they deal four, no, 30, 
Yeah, they deal 30 damage on impact and 20 damage on splash. So even if you don't hit the enemy, let me see if I can... This one should work. Maybe not. Let. So you can see the first target actually takes 30 damage and the targets behind that do only take 20 damage. Very good offensive ability, relatively good range. However, as usual, due to these castings, are uh, very vulnerable to disables and CCs. Also, it kinda is hard to land all four shots unless the enemy is slowed or really in a bad position because it's not like a consistent stream, so it might be like if the enemy is twitchy or doing a very good sidestep, you might actually whiff one or two shots of those. However, very, very, very good offensive ultimate. Anyways, this is pretty much all about Gunner or Jade and her skill set. Hopefully you guys enjoyed another Battle Raid Champion Spotlight. And as always, let me know what you guys think about this. Positive as well as negative feedback. And um, yeah, hopefully see you guys next time.